All right. Hi, guys. This is Mrs. Rooker. I am going to be going over the day seven homework with you guys. Um, so here are all the answers to one through eight. So take a minute, look at those, and then I will kind of walk through a few of them. Feel free to pause the video if you want to write down um, the ones you missed or continue checking them. But I'm going to go through um, each of them really quick and just kind of walk through what was done on each of these steps. Sorry, I was a little frozen there. All right, um, so on the first one, you're supposed to be solving for V. The idea is to um, get V by itself. So in the first step, and the, the work got a little um, off from uh, the problem, but the first step, you're getting rid of this minus three. So you add three to both sides. So whatever you do on one side, you also do on the other side. Um, that cancels out these threes. We're left with eight V is greater than or equal to um, negative 8 because negative 11 plus 3 is negative 8. Then the final step is to get rid of the 8 that's right next to the v since this is 8 times v. The opposite of multiplying by 8 is to divide by 8. Whatever you do on this side you also do on the other side. Um, negative 8 divided by negative 8 or sorry negative 8 divided by 8 gives us negative 1. Um, we don't need to flip the sign because we didn't divide by a negative. The thing we divided by was positive 8. Um, on the next one, you'll see that in the end, you have to divide away the negative 2. When you divide both sides by negative 2, you do flip the sign. This was a less than, it becomes a greater than. All right. Um, the first step on number 3 is to distribute. Um, the arrows got a little off, sorry about that. Um, when you distribute 7 times r is 7r, 7 times negative 3 is a negative 21. Add 21 to both sides, then to get rid of the 7, you divide both sides by 7. Since we divided by 7, that was not a negative, you did not need to flip the sign. Um, the number 4, the 8 looks like it was cut off, but we added 8 to both sides and then divided both sides by 3. Um, since you divided by 3, you did not need to flip the sign from here to here, but when you write your answer with the variable in the front, see we flip the variable to the front, everything ends up flipping around. So 4 is greater than or equal to s is the same thing as s is less than or equal to 4. All right. Um, on 6, 7, I'm sorry, five, six, seven. Yeah, five, six, and seven, there are variables on both sides. So the first thing you're going to do on each of these is move the variables or move one of the variables so it joins the other one on the other side of the equation. Once you've done that, then you move things away from the variables and make sure to flip the sign if you multiply or divide by a negative number. All right, here is um, the next slide. I'm going to move some things around so you can see better. Oh. I'm just going to move this a tiny bit so you can see. All right, so it was 5D. Uh, minus 8d. So the first thing you can do is combine like terms. 5d minus 8d is negative 3d. Um, when we, uh, then it looks like they wanted to move the d's to the same side, so they subtracted 3d from both sides. We're left with negative 6d minus 4 is less than or equal to four, negative 4. Add 4 to both sides. Um, a lot of students freak out when they see um, the zero. 
you're allowed to have equations equal to zero or inequalities um, with zero. Um, we just continue solving. We get rid of the negative six by dividing both sides by negative six. Big key thing is you need to flip the sign when you divide by negative six. So it was less than or equal to, it becomes a greater than or equal to. And then zero divided by anything is just zero. All right, um, on number 10, you wanna distribute first. You end up getting 4b plus 45, sorry, 5b plus 45 is less than or equal to 5b plus 45. It's the exact same thing on both sides. Since this symbol was a less than or equal to, um, this ends up being a true statement because 5b plus 45 is equal to 5b plus 45. Since that's a true statement, we get um, infinitely many solutions or um, all real numbers. All right, so this next section we are supposed to, let's see, translate the verbal phrase into an inequality, then solve and graph the inequality. Uh, so four more than the product of three and X is less than 45. So first thing, four more. Four more means you add four to something. If you're increasing something by four, that means add four. So that's where this add four came from. But then it says the product of three and X. Product means multiplication. So three times X and then four more than that is the plus four, is less than 40. So that's a less than symbol 40, um, which is exactly what he had written right here. Then we solve by adding four to both sides and dividing by three. You don't need to flip the sign um, when you divide because you divided by a positive. So x is less than 12 is the answer. And then when we graph this on a number line, I put 12 in the middle. I put a couple numbers on the outside of it, so 11, 13, because remember it increases as we go from left to right. I put an open circle at 12 because there's no line underneath. The arrow goes to the left because that's a less than. Remember that kind of looks like an arrow that's going to the left. All right. The sum of 5x and 2x, sum means add, so that's why he added those is greater than the difference of 9x and 4. Remember, difference means subtract. So 9x minus 4. Um, combine like terms, we get 7x. Then you want to get the x's on the same side. Um, so he moved the negative 9x to the other side so that it could join the 7 over here. Then he divided both sides by negative 2 to get x by itself. When you divide by negative 2, you flip the direction of the inequality. When we graph this, we'll have two, three, one, open circle because there's no line underneath, and then the arrow goes to the left because it's a less than. It looks like a little arrow going to the left. All right, and then the final one. The gym is offering a trial membership for three months by discounting the regular monthly rate by $50. Um, you will Consider joining the gym um, if the total cost of the trial membership is less than $100. Um, which inequality uh, can you use um, to find the possible regular monthly rates um, that you are willing to pay? So um, it says that it is being discounted by $50. Discounted means we're taking away $50. So you're going to look at these ones. All of them have a minus 50, um, which is good because we're discounting by $50. Um, and it's each month that's being discounted by 50. So you're not just taking away 50 once. You're taking 50 away for each of the three months uh, that you would be having the membership. This one is saying that you're only taking away 50 once. Um, the three is not being multiplied by the 50. So that's no good because it's only subtracting 50 once. Same with this one, only subtracting 50 once. So it's gotta be either C or D. 
this is saying that we want what we pay to be greater than 100. Um, that's not the case. We want it to be less than 100. So that's this one here. So that's why our answer is C. All right, that's it. Thank you guys.